I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider a few cases where we will try to find limit of a function as x approaches positive infinity or negative infinity or maybe both sides. So let's begin with a few exponential functions, right? So we will take few examples of exponential functions. I will write down the equations and uh, you should find the answers, correct? And then we will review. So let us say that x approaches infinity and the function which we have is 7 over 5 to the power of x. Uh, find this answer. Then we can have limit x approaches infinity. The function could be 4 over 5 to the power of x. Find this answer. Or we could have question like x approaches positive infinity and the question will be 2 to the power of minus let us say minus x. Find this answer, right? So those are a few questions which we could have and at times uh, we could also have a function as uh, limit x approaches infinity and uh, and the power could be let us say 3 to the power of 1 over x. Okay, so that could be another variety of question. So as far as exponential functions are concerned I think I have good variety here. Now let's take a few examples uh, where we could have uh, rational functions, right? So let's take let's take few rational functions now, and you need to figure out the limit as it approaches infinity. So some rational functions of our importance could be. So we'll find the limit as x approaches infinity. And let me write a rational function as 2x minus 3 divided by 5x plus 2, for example, right? We could have a rational function as limit x approaches, it could be minus infinity also, right? Let's put minus infinity. And, and the question is 2x over x squared minus 3. We could have limit x approaches, uh, let's say, minus infinity. And, and the question is 2x cubed minus, let's say 1 minus, right? And we have 2x plus 1. So likewise, we could have few rational expressions to work with. And we may have to find limit at infinity, correct? Uh, let me take few radical equations now. Uh, these are kind of very typical. Now in radical, I'll explain you a concept which will probably help you to answer them correctly. Uh, let's take take an example where limit is x over square root of x square plus plus 1, let us say, right? And uh, let me take another example where we'll take limit uh, x approaches, I think we have enough here. Let's do a similar example with minus infinity, okay? Now, it doesn't matter, we'll write any number here. So, we have something like this. So, these are the examples which we can consider and then let's see how to answer them. The first one here, 7 over 5 to the power of x. Now as x approaches to infinity, you know it's an exponential function, it just keeps on growing, correct? Right? So it also approaches infinity, kind of, right? So it just grows unbound. So when a function grows unbound, it is not reaching a particular value. So we say that the limit does not exist, do you understand? So when we say that the limit is not existing, that means uh, it is not reaching a particular value, right? That is what we mean. It is going unbound. So it just increases to infinity itself, right? So when x approaches infinity, in this case, y also approaches infinity, not to a fixed value. In this particular case, you see 4 over 5. So the denominator is higher value. So the function will actually kind of decay. And in this case, the the value of the function, the limit approaches is 0, right? So the value of function approaches 0. Here, it is 2 to the power of minus x. It is same as writing half to the power of x. So in this case also, it is a decaying function. So here also, it is approaching 0. Now in this particular case, if I write 1 over infinity, now 1 over infinity is what? 1 over infinity is 0. So what we get here is, we get 3 to the power of 0, and that is 1. So this is very important to understand. If we have limit, like in this particular case, 1 over infinity is 0, 
anything to the power of 0 is 1. So this function approaches 1. Correct? Now let's look into these rational functions. So in rational functions you learn that to find the limit what should we do. Here we'll divide both all these terms by x. So if I divide all these terms by x, what do I get? Uh, let me show you the first one itself and then you can do the rest on your own. I'll also provide you with the examples which are related. So in the first one, let me simplify. So if I take x common uh, uh, or let me say x factor out, okay, so we get 2 minus 3 over x in the numerator. Denominator will be x factored out, so we get 5 plus 2 over x. Now, as x approaches infinity, 2 over x approaches 0, 3 over x approaches 0. So the function basically approaches and x, x cancel out, 2 over 5, 2 over 5, right? So the answer for the first one will be ratios of these leading coefficients. Now in this particular case, if x is very large, denominator is very large, and so this approaches 0. Here, denominator is very high. So if I divide by x, in that case I get x squared in the numerator, and as x approaches negative or positive infinity, this function approaches a very large negative value. In this case, negative infinity, right? So it approaches a very large negative value. Since it approaches a negative value very large, we say it does not exist since it is not approaching any fixed value. Correct. Now come to these two. So what we will do here is, I'll show you the technique and uh, and then I'll leave one for you. I'll do this one. So what we will do is, we need to simplify what is there in the denominator. So let's begin by simplifying it. I'm going slightly fast because I have examples for you to go through and I'm quickly going through it. I need you to do these questions on your own. So we, let's factor out x square. If I factor out x square, I get 1 plus 1 over x square. Correct? Now, so I have x in the numerator. Denominator x square I factored out. What is square root of x square? That is what you need to answer. If I have x approaching infinity, then I know 1 over x square is 0. So what remains is square root of x square. Correct? So I have square root of x square. Since x is very large, 1 over x squared is 0, right? So this term here approaches 0, right? Since x is very large. Now, what is this number? That is a critical thing. Now, always, square root of x squared will be absolute value of x. It cannot be, do you understand? So it is actually goes to x over absolute value of x. Now I have videos explaining this. You should go through them also. Now especially in the first case when you are approaching positive infinity then the absolute function is defined as positive x. So in this particular case it will be x over positive x. Correct? x over positive x and the answer will be 1. In the second case where we do the similar solution the only difference is instead of 1, I have 4 here. And now, when x is approaching negative infinity, what happens to this value? Now, what happens here is, now, positive infinity means x was positive. Negative infinity means this x, I mean, this value is always positive. Positive infinity, x is positive. When I substitute, I again get x over absolute x. But when I substitute minus infinity here, I get a negative number here. You get the point. But that negatively large number, absolute value will be positive, right? And therefore, the answer will be minus 1. So in this case, when we are approaching negative infinity for a similar question, the answer is minus 1 for the limit. But if you are approaching positive infinity, the answer is 1. Reason is that the absolute value is always positive, right? Square root is always positive. Remember that. Therefore, we write absolute value of x, not x. So it doesn't really cancel out. If x is approaching negative infinity, you substitute, let's say, negative 1000 for x. Negative 1000 divided by absolute value of negative 1000, you will get negative 1. So you get negative 1 as your answer. Anyway, that was a very quick, and I wasn't really trying to explain you how to do them. 
I'm just giving you overall picture of how to solve questions with limits approaching negative or positive infinity. I have provided some links which will help you to get into details. I hope you'll find it interesting. Thank you and all the best.